Hello everyone. Thank you for visiting my channel. Your click means to me a lot. In this video, I'd like to show my new portable Japanese calligraphy set which I bought in Japan last year. But first of all, I make my room into a nice relaxing space with the gift that my sister sent me. It helps me to be a machine, the state of no mind, no thoughts, a high level of spirituality and a heart free of disturbances. When I travel, I always take a small letter set that I use for writing short messages in thanks for the kind hospitality that I received from where I stayed. I usually use a normal pen, sometimes a fountain pen, but as a Japanese, I'd like to give it an extra touch by using this traditional writing method. This set comes with a brush, solid ink and a palette, we call it the Suzuri. I wish there was a paperweight, it's a shame. Everything fits in this compact, very light wooden box nicely. The lid fits to the box perfectly. So no need to worry about falling apart in your bag. All brushes are sold with hard tips. When you use the brush for the first time, you need to soften the brush. This is called fude oroshi. Depends on how you want to use it. Decide how far up the brush you want to soften. This is solid ink, you may call it ink stick. This ink stick only works with water, so when it's dried, you don't need to worry about to get the mess with ink. And this is called a suzuli, the palette, or you may call it ink stone. The suzuri has a fine grinder to rub the stick ink against. This is one of the very well-known casual writing brush. It contains the liquid ink in the stem. Squeeze it gently to push the ink into the brush. The brush is plastic fibre. I have used this several times before. Quite often I squeeze this stem too strongly to remove this cap. I have to be very careful to not make a mess. I'm going to show you how to use this brush pen. This is my journal notebook I created by using different types of papers. I use this journal to try the new products I bought and keep some words that touched my heart. In Japan, it is said that handwritten letters reflect personality. As you see in this video, my handwriting is not beautiful, but I always try to write in a deliberate and considered way.
I pour water into suzuri to prepare the fudeoroshi to soften the brush. Soak the brush in the water gently and carefully brush it off. Now I check the condition of my brush. When we practice this calligraphy, we always use a particular paper, which is called a hanshi, this very thin paper. It is not expensive, however, to minimize the waste, we usually practice with water. Now I make ink. I grind ink stone against the suzuri, the palette, mixing the water with the dried ink to liquefy it. The suzuri is usually black, dissimilar to the ink stick. However, this set has very lovely porcelain ink stone. This suzuri has a fine grinder, however, the traditional ink stone doesn't have such grinder on the palette itself. So it takes quite a long time to liquefy the ink. This action with hearing the grinding noise helps to calm and achieve the machine spirit. Now I try the ink on the hanshi to check the thickness of the ink.
As I want it a bit darker, I grind a bit more. This is a birthday card for my husband. I prepared with painting colourful bubbles. I'm going to write a message in English and Japanese. If the ink spreads and blurs or fades from black into watery grey, 
It is all a part of the art. Happy birthday! As we have been, let us continue to get along well together forever.